Today, I bring in the i9 core. Um, it's the 129KF, all right? So we're gonna get a lot of cores in here. We're gonna set it up today. Um, they got rid of the larger boxes and they choose to get something small and simple. Uh, we're gonna set this up today and see how well it works. So we're gonna set it up. We got our stuff set up in here and we're gonna prepare ourselves to to set up this this whole elaborate system so it's about time we're going to upgrade it and we're going to see how fast it is this is even worth it and how simple it is to adjust and install this all right so let's go ahead and take a look all right we're going to start with built what i like to do every time i like to install the the i9 first that's very important all the time um one of the best things i like to do is just make sure i i do it properly because I don't want to readjust it when I'm in the middle of setting up. Second, I like to mount it in the actual system, including with the actual mounts that we're going to do for the actual water and cooling system. Prior to that, I like to test it out, do a dry run, make sure it's running prior to me throwing it in there. And then I set up the actual M.2s two at the same time before I throw it in there, including the memory sometimes. But we're going to do the memory late because it's actually in another, being utilized by another system. So let's go ahead and start. So arrows here on the actual pin, uh, and there's an arrow here. So we're gonna lift this up, right? Lift it up, and, I, and make sure you're static free prior to starting with anything. Um, some people like to wear the static bracelets. I, I really don't, so we're gonna lift this first, all right? We're gonna lift it up, lift it up, and leave the plastic on, all right? And this is the most critical part. You gotta remember that these are pins. The pins are not in here, they're actually in here. So let's go ahead and open it up. Believe it or not, I dropped a couple of these before. And um, let me make sure there's no debris on it. Here's the actual CPU going on. Dropping it in there. This is like the critical part right here. There we go. So we got it into a point where the arrow is pointing down to the bottom. And we're gonna close it up. And then once we close it up, there's no point of return, all right? So it's there, it's properly there, the arrow's there. I'm gonna go ahead and pl place it in place, and then go ahead, and this comes off, easy. So the CPU is already embedded in there. That's probably the most critical part of setting up a computer. It's actually the CPU. Um, you can keep this as a souvenir, but you're probably never gonna come back again unless you upgrade it or something's wrong with it. And most of the times, it's either an upgrade. So, like, it's nothing fancy. Uh, they don't put any stickers or anything else. It's just a basic uh, 12, 9,900KF, right? So. All right, if you guys can see, I have my Intel chip installed already. It's properly set up already. I put lots of cooling air. I, I ended up putting a water cooling system instead of an actual fan in there, but there's, a lot of fan, a lot of air uh, passing through, especially if you have a motherboard or that that can generate a lot of heat because I do have extra um, M.2s with, with um, of course, I put radiators on them. But I got plenty of fans coming in. Air is coming in, flowing up, flowing back. It's keeping everything really good temperatures. Um, the highest I've seen probably was like at 35, you know, but it kept the temperature even at a testing area when i was running cinemax it was continuing to keep the same kind of heat around 30 under 30 so not that bad even though the pressure was running really good uh if you start seeing less uh getting hotter that means you're you're gonna have to replace the water and that'll be about in a year or so you know but you cannot replace the water you're just gonna end up buying a new generation to keep your intel 12th generation running but integrating with the new motherboards it's not that bad it's not that hard uh, very simple. I like that they got rid of the pins a long time ago. Makes it a lot easier to to um, configure the system. So if you have any questions or any comments about the CPU, let me know. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.